Hello, this is Hiroshi Shai with Satoshi's Treasure Hunters with your weekly, or I should say, the end of the month update on the Satoshi Treasure game. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get into it. This is July 31st and we got a lot to talk about. So the game makers haven't really updated some of the, the solve keys. Uh, even though some of the, um, particularly the contest ones, have ended. And there have been a number of different clans that have stated that they have found certain keys. So it's a little weird that they haven't updated uh, the site yet. Um, but that's, that's where we're kind of at, really. Uh, the other thing to note uh, when we talk about the keys in a moment is that uh, we're on the cusp of 50 keys having been released according to my calculations. So that's pretty significant. Um, not quite the pace that most people want, if you will. I think the game can go a little bit faster, really. I think there is enough players and enough diversity in the different types of clues that they've been releasing for the puzzles. Uh, to obtain the keys that there's enough there for people to work with and work on multiple keys at the same time. But that's something I've just been talking about for quite some time with this game. Uh, so let's talk about what has been solved and what has not been solved. So if you look on the site, we have 29 clues have dropped for 29 named keys with a total of 49 keys have been released considering that uh, some of these uh, clues or keys have multiple, uh, you know, keys attached to them. For example, the hunted key was the first multiple, which had three, but only one was found. Ah, uh, our dear old friend, the earth key, uh, still hasn't been found. It has not been found yet. Um, let's see, let's go drop down. So the zero knowledge key, uh, that contest had ended July 29th, according to the site right here. It initially was July 15th, but they extended it to July 29th. I have not seen anything um, via their Twitter announcements or their tweets other than announcing that they've done some partnerships. Um, if there's going to be a further extension or um, if that's pretty much it. So far, as far as announcement goes, there's been only uh, one key has been, in essence, been released uh, to the winner of the, that contest. So there's two keys there you can say that are possibly not in play any longer. The philanthropic key. So the philanthropic key ended uh, July 28th, and there hasn't been an announcement for the fourth key. Uh, the first key went to the Toshi Cypher group. The second key went to the uh, Toshi Cypher, uh, Cypher group as well. And then the third key went to a new player, uh, Tamon. And um, the fourth key hasn't been announced as of yet. They were pretty quick, the last three keys, but I guess they're taking some time, and we'll talk about that towards the end, about some knuffles and stuff happening in the uh, official telegram group but so far you know just like the site there hasn't been really any um any announcements from the official twitter account from the game makers at all as of july 24th and it's the 31st so there's that and let's go back. So the zero knowledge key and the philanthropic key should be pretty much done. Uh, they just haven't flipped over to see who uh, has won that. And then the world key and the street key. So the street key finished uh, 11.59 Eastern time. Um, it looks like the Social Cipher group has won that, though the Steam Clan does have a, quite a number of uh, videos up through their Twitter account. I guess they're just going through to see who has the, the most or the um, fit the criteria because you have to have 
your Twitter handle, you had to ask some questions, it had to be pretty visible outside. There are certain criteria that the game makers were looking for for that particular key. So that ended the 29th. Uh, we're just waiting for that to flip over to see who's the winner of that particular um, contest key. And shout out to the Social Cypher group. I think they had up, up to about like 100 different interviews from around um, various people in different places. Uh, the Steam clan, I have to say, I think was a bit more international. And shout out to them for uh, making their contribution for that particular contest key. Uh, the world key should be completely done, catch zero one. The only thing I can think of that's holding it up is the distribution of the fourth key, which was the documentation of people seeking out and finding the different, um, at least one of the different uh, geolocations, but that still hasn't flipped over. Uh, the pair key doesn't end until August 15th, so we have a while for that one. That is the, the clue where you have to pair yourself with another person and see who has the longest distance on, on Google. Do like a very much like the blockchain contest key, which was called the clan key, where you had to do like a little sign and be outside and a visible face. You have to have a like kind of an iconic scenery in the background so people know what where your location is for both pairs and see who the winner is. Um, the STC key is the only key that has flipped that is this key here, where you had to go to the tre uh, coin market cap. Uh, the first website had the decryptor page. It had uh, this information on here. I thought personally right here to solve it, it had to do with this image right here, this wave image. Nope. Um, and if you did any internet sleuthing of any of the words, it got you to kind of a red herring called the... Uh, Principles of Decoria, which is this weird, weird, weird book um, about numbers and time and philosophy going on there. That is a red herring. The only hint I can give to you on this is kind of read the narrative clues and look on time travel. That's it. Think of time travel, look at the narrative clues. Think along those lines, do a little bit of internet sleuthing, and I think you can, in essence, come up with the solution from that. But boy, was I wrong about the different rabbit holes. You know, I always fall for the red herrings. I always fall for the red herrings. I just, I don't know. Man, I'm just very naive or not very good at this game. And then the check it for key has not been solved, but many people have stated through Twitter or through the public channels that they have solved the corrupted key. So that hasn't flipped over. And I think pretty much the only key that is not being made public by anyone is Pretty much all of these keys have not been made public. Supposedly, maybe one of these keys might be made public by one of the public clans, but until then, it's, it's not public. But yeah, so we're at 49 keys released uh, with, I would say, given the Hunter key two, the Philanthropic key two, four, Earth key five, I would say with five of those 49 keys not being out there, you know, not solvable. Um, oh, the art tour key, so six. I don't think that's solvable. And there's that. So there's six keys that are po possibly not on the board here. Um, out of 29, you know, clues released uh, with 49 keys out there. So we're, we're gathering a little bit of steam, but not as quickly as some would like. We are basically about to approach four months into a year-long game of a thousand keys supposed to be released with 400. You know, you need to solve any 400. So it'd be nice to pick up some more of the pace here, but we'll, we'll see how we'll see we'll see how mid-August when we actually on the official fourth um, month how the state of the game is at. Um, so. Pretty much it is where our status is at. 
There's been no clue drop. As soon as there's a clue drop, I will do a clue uh, video. If there's any more information about any of these keys, if they flipped over to found, or there's any announcements, particularly when it comes to the zero knowledge key and the philanthropy key, um, I'll do a quick update on those. So some mess has been happening in the Telegram official channel. Um, one has to do with the room key, which the game makers have not been very clear or responsive of. Um, there's been a number of clans, and this has been an issue with the room key, that have sent people to that location and not been able to find the QR code, to the point where they released pictures in the official Telegram group saying the, the QR code sticker is not there anymore. What are the game makers going to do? Did Were they the ones who pulled the the QR sticker down and the room key is done, or was this an act of sabotage? And so they they haven't been clear or responsive of that. They did state very early on when I guess the QR code was still there that if it was an act of sabotage, that they as game makers will release the the key itself. But that hasn't quite happened yet. Um, what also has happened is there's someone who stated that they found the the sticker right and they've been trying to sell it which is something that other people have done with different keys particularly the geolocation keys uh, many people feel it's a little too early to be selling uh, uh keys particularly for the amount that they're asking some are asking ridiculous prices like two thousand dollars five hundred dollars i believe was going through the telegram chat room or exchanging keys you probably get a better deal with exchanging particularly the geolocation keys but it's still a little early I, I would personally if i had a geolocation key and i kept it to myself i would hold on to it to it gets down to around the 300s or 325 solves and start shopping around and see who wants that added advantage of having you know who doesn't have that particular uh key so you have that mess where people are thinking that this person um, may have been the one who took down the QR code and is now trying to profit it. And, you know, that's fine if you want to sell a key or whatever, but to take down the QR code sticker that's, that's a little scuzzy, a little scammy, um, a little corrupt, if you will. Uh, there's another issue with the supplanter keys um, about the allocation of who particularly won, particularly with the third key. Initially it was Dusty Cypher Group, then it was a different one, and there was an issue about different pledges not going to the different um, groups, if you will. So maybe that's why they're taking a little bit longer for this one. Um, and then they have the person who says, states that they've won hasn't received their key yet. So there's that issue going on in the Telegram. And then there's just a little minor stuff that's happening where people don't get along, and that's normal with any kind of large grouping, if you will. But as far as the game goes, um, the non-response by the game makers on the room key, I think, is very critical. Um, I think they need to do something about that, state that, okay, some verification that, yes, someone has sabotaged that QR code, uh, we're publicly releasing it, Maybe some clarity, particularly with some of these geolocation keys that do have QR codes, that after an X amount of days, they are going to officially take them down, that, you know, that geolocation is done. Um, if they're using QR codes instead of field agents, I, I think they need to make that clear. Um, the, they've been very slow on their social media, and it's causing a little bit of confusion, because they are in the Telegram. And they are on Twitter, and I think a lot of people are like, you need to have like one official um, public statement thing. Um, I know some of the game makers tweet stuff like hints and stuff like that, particularly the the mini hunts. Um, Jesse um, Wang Wong is responsible for that. I think, and this is something I mentioned very early on um, when discussing about this game, that they they need one voice. So it'd be it's okay if they go on the Telegram and maybe just repost what they have publicly stated on the Twitter, but it should just simply come from the Twitter feed. The mini hunts, hints, clues, disputes, um, all that on one channel, and then just you know repost. Hey, if you're in the Telegram channel, here's that same information. Boom, and it would be nice if they had it on their site, like a little sub page about all public 
you know, blog posts or whatever, all public do- documentation. I don't know if that's a vulnerability they don't want to have. Um, so somebody being able to, you know, I'm sure they're constantly getting hacked, attempts to hack their, their um, website. That might be a vulnerability, and that's why they don't have that. But, you know, Twitter, all official statements, all on one count, no game maker hints or whatever. And then Telegram is a repeat of that statements. Um, they need to be a little bit more responsive to questions. It seems like they don't have a designated social media person like other games do or other companies do. They, they probably should by now, uh, almost four months into this game, have a designated social media person whose only sole responsibility is to interact um, with the hunters, um, convey the official messaging, if you will, and answer any questions that they officially can about the game, about QR codes being pulled, about um, issues with uh, how, a, a, like particularly with the street key about translations and about being outside and whether they should show their face and, and stuff like that. Those type of questions should come from the official channel and should be like pretty responsive, pretty on that, on tact, um, you know, in engaging with the hunters, retweeting or conveying you can take take a key from Wendy or whatever you know there's plenty of examples of great social media um, people or persons behind certain accounts that are very great at doing this and just hire someone to do that you can't just simply get an intern or a young person to do that you you obviously for the type of price money that you are making available for people and considering that it is in Bitcoin and it's going to increase in value potentially um, or at least be significantly higher than when it was initially launched, then you kind of need a social media presence. You just you just do. It, and I don't understand why it wasn't in the budget or wasn't the forethought of having a designated social media person to engage and interact. That's just, we're, 2019, that's just what you have to do with any kind of product or business. I can understand if you're a one-man operation, that you're doing everything, that makes sense and people get that. But when you are not a one-man operation, when you are back to business, when you are some kind of certain capacity, even for mom and pop places, like, for example, for myself, like, if I don't see, like, just a basic website, I'm like, huh. Facebook, personally, for myself, because I don't like that platform, doesn't cut it for me. I understand why people are on that platform, because that's where grandmas and the, the old people are and they have the money that's where they're at they're in that garden wall of you if you will but even not having a basic website takes me a little back it's like uh you don't even have like a basic hours of operation price listing who's there what to expect it's like even a one page little thing um i not for everything i would expect online ordering i understand that that's just not possible for different types of businesses but just like a basic information because most of the internet now is kind of like the yellow pages where you're kind of trying to glean and figure out where to go, who to go with, and all that stuff, and getting that basic information. So that's just, at this point, it's a little disappointing on the part of the game makers that that hasn't quite happened yet. Um, the clue drops do, I think, do need to be more um, frequent and with greater clarity. And... That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so if you're in the Telegram chat, it's a little bit messy, but it is, it is the best place to hook up with different clans or create your own clan or engage and uh, get some hints or helps on solving different puzzles, particularly if you're going starting out and going back and figuring out how the different um, keys work or how the different games work is a great way to... Uh, try to engage with the community and figure things out on your own and start piling your own methodology of solving these different clues or working with different people. So that's it. That's our weekly update. Um, if a clue drops, you'll have another video. If there's any significant game news, there'll be another video. But uh, my name is Rosa Shive. Um, this is Toshi's Treasure Hunters. This has been your weekly slash monthly update for July 31st of the game Satoshi's Treasure Hunt. On with the hunt.